What's up guys, Mike Build back, quick solar video. We're gonna be testing two different 100 watt solar panels. On the right, we have the Wheezy bought off Amazon, rated at 100 watts. And on the left, we have a brand new Harbor Freight that I just got. They were having their parking lot sale. It was 89 bucks. I believe it was two of these for 180 bucks. So today we're gonna go ahead and compare both of these. And the way I'm gonna do that is I have this little current meter right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some connector in. So I have, I have a big bag of solar connectors here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a set of, here, of connectors here onto this. I'm also going to switch out the cord on the Harbor Freight solar panel to the solar connector. I believe they're called EC4s, but I could be wrong. So we're going to change this over to those. The Wheezy panel, luckily, already comes with them, so no modification there. So just out of the box, this one's probably going to be easier to use, but it's easy to do a quick connector change. So I'm going to get the connectors changed on this, get the connectors, get the connectors put on our power meter. This is gonna be our load for today, so I'm gonna roll this outside. I'm gonna use this as our load test, and we're gonna see exactly how much power each panel puts. We're gonna be able to see the voltage, the water drill time, and everything. All right, got MC4s installed on the Harbor Freight panel. I don't know if I called these MC4s before, but that's what they are. MC4s installed on our power meter, and that's it, we're ready to go. In case anyone's curious, these are the crimpers I use, and I just use the cheap Amazon connectors. If you were gonna do this on a really high power system, I'd recommend you use nicer connectors. But just for a small hobby system, these seem to work perfect. So anyways, I'm gonna get these outside in the sun and we're gonna start doing some testing. Okay, now we have both solar panels outside. I don't know how this good this test is gonna be because we got a little bit of cloud cover. So I'm gonna try to wait to get, this. I'm gonna try to wait to get as much sun as possible in order to do the comparisons. Like I showed you on side, this is the rig we're gonna be used to test the output. And I did go ahead and get the power meter made. Showed you all that. And then I also made this panel connection cord. This is made out of actual PV wire, so pretty good stuff. It's weather rated and everything. I will say this, if you're gonna use the Harbor Freight outside a lot, it has tin copper wire instead of the actual solar panel wiring on the Wheezy. So keep that in mind, because that might corrode. So this is more or less made to kind of just set up for camping and stuff. As you can see, it has a little stand. That one does not, so something to keep in mind. Anyways, we're gonna get everything hooked up and see what we get. All right, well, I guess my plan of testing these Harbor Freight solar panels versus the Wheezy panels is not going to work out today because of the overcast. So we're going to postpone this test for another day. I'm just going to leave these two out here right now to charge the small power bank. That one's charging a large one. And we do have the, oh, we do have the window unit AC in there pumping in a little bit of work. So I guess that's it for now. Hopefully in the next clip, we'll be actually doing some real testing. All right, so we got the Harbor Freight brand new out of the box. In direct sunlight, as good as we're gonna get for today. And we have 19.4 volts open circuit. And there it is, about 92, 93 watts. Now this isn't in the perfect angle, I'm sure with the perfect day, there's still a tiny bit of overcast, but you know, that's pretty good. All right, we're seeing about 91. I saw it spiked about 93 at first. Now, I'm sure if you can get this at a little bit better of an angle on a little bit uh, clearer day, we might get closer to that 100, but we're getting 90 to 91 out of this right now. All right, here's the Wheezy 100 watt. Open circuit voltage is 20.8. All right, now we have 58 watts. That's pretty bad. I didn't realize how bad this thing would actually test, but saying 58 maybe i need to wait for more of a clearer day to do this but so far 58 for the wheezy not looking good that's it there you have it we tested these both i'm gonna do another test and another video on a better day because there was a little bit of overcast i do believe the harbor freight's better than the wheezy i mean there's no reason this should produce a little more than half of its rated output and this was almost at full so i don't think it was just the sun that was killing it i just think maybe this thing really sucks which kind of is unfortunate I have two of these, so maybe I'll put them both in series and we'll put two Harbor Freight ones in series and do the test again on a really, really sunny day and let's, let's give it the best case scenario to work. But so far, Weezy's not looking good. Harbor Freight on the other end, super awesome. So I guess uh, in the next video, we're gonna do the exact same test and just kind of see where we're at. And if we get the same results again, then we know the Weezy's just junk. Now I'll still use these, they're definitely not trash, but you know, don't pay full price if it's not gonna give you full power, I guess you could say, you know, kind of feel like you get ripped off. But yeah, I guess that's going to do it for now. Hopefully you learned something in this video. And I do appreciate you guys watching. And we're just going to keep doing it and keep putting out more content and see what happens.